Welcome to another Hebrew lesson. This time, how to say cat in Hebrew. As you probably already know, many words in Hebrew like pronouns and nouns change according to the gender. Animal names are no different. Let's start with the singular form. In Hebrew, a male cat is called chatul. Chatul. Notice that the stress is on the last syllable. Chatul, not chatul. I'm using Nikud here. You can always check out the Nikud playlist to learn more about Hebrew vowels and how to pronounce them. So that covers the male cat. What about the female version of the name? The female version is chatula. Chatula. One thing that strikes the eye is that the stress has moved to the last syllable. It is ultimate stress. The first instinct is to leave the stress like it is on the masculine version chatul and just add the la. This is usually not the case. In the male version, the stress was on the tool, but now it is on the la, chatula. Stress movement in Hebrew words caused the nikud to change. In our case, though it sounds the same, the sign has changed from kamatz gadol to chataf patach. More on that in another video. If you are happy with knowing just the Hebrew male and female words for cat, feel free to stop watching the video right now. Coming up, the plural form names for a cat. We now know how to call a male cat in Hebrew. What about cats in masculine form? This is pronounced as follows. Chatulim. Chatulim. Can you hear the ultimate stress? Chatulim, not chatulim. Here again, the change in stress causes the nikud in the first letter to change. Notice that we create the plural male by adding the letters yod and mem to the end of the word. This is a common pattern in Hebrew. The feminine word for cats is chatulot. Chatulot. In order to make the plural form word, we added the letters Vav and Taf to the end of the word. You can see the base word Chatul and the additions that create the plural form for the feminine version of the word. This is also a common pattern in Hebrew, but be careful. Some masculine plural form words in Hebrew also end with the letters Vav and Taf. Example for such an exception is the Hebrew word Cher or Kise. In singular form, the noun chair is masculine, but in the plural form is kisot, kisot, and not kisim, as you would expect from what I've shown you above. So there you have it. You now know how to say and use the word cat in Hebrew, including its common variations. Here are all the words we learned today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, leave your Hebrew questions in the comments below and as always, thank you and Toda for watching.